Well, howdy, we are back on the 69 crew cab swept line build. This is getting a come and swap if you're new to the channel. Here's what we got. This was starting as a 1991 first gen Cummins, and we're gonna use this motor, complete chassis for that crew cab sitting outside. As you can see, body parts of this truck all cut up, made it into a go-kart. Anyways, we gotta get this frame cleaned up. We gotta grind all this down, get it nice and flat how it should be, strip all the body parts off that are still on it, and get it ready so we can power wash it and get this frame all nice and clean. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Alright, so we did. It's got all the wiring off. This is an absolute mess, but as you can see here, we went through everything we unplugged. Tried to label them everything that we're unplugging so we remember what it is and try to use it all in the crew cab. Now we gotta pull all these wires through to the engine bay. So the plan is to cut just this front side of the firewall off here and use that in the crew cab so everything bolts up the way it does now, just like from factory and make it a lot easier, hopefully. Not for sure how that's gonna work quite yet, but we'll get there. All right, driver side's basically naked over here. Got everything through that needs to be through. Now we gotta get this passenger side done with the AC box and everything like that. We want them to save all the wires, but when we cut the cab off, we might have snipped into these eight wires that are running to the back, so they're probably for the tail lights and don't know what else, so that's nice. That's something grody looking. You're getting it all run to the ground. Oh my goodness. core support off in this video we are also going to stretch the frame this is the wheelbase of the crew cab it's 160 and three quarters of the first gen dodge it's 130 and 1 8 so the difference is 29 5 8 is what we're going to have to stretch this frame since this truck is the early 91 and it's not a 91 and a half it has the smaller frame i believe this frame is what was it six and a quarter i think Six and a quarter was what this frame is, but they had problems with them breaking, I guess, and they went to eight inches after the month of June of 1991. We did find a frame that might work that we can use to help us stretch and get the extra 29 inches. We're gonna look into a different company here and see if they can make exactly what we need with the right thickness and everything. That's gonna be the metal to stretch the frame coming from this Ford cab over. 
gonna cut off as much as possible here probably from this section to about here is what we'll use and we got it on both sides there's about a little over 40 inches there and we just need 29 inches so should be good gotta get this big old thing off of here real quick and we'll get to cutting Last thing that needs to come out. Looks like we need a tweaker. Go that way. Come on out. I wish y'all could smell this thing because it smells like turd. I mean, these mice have been living in this thing for the past 10 years and all they're doing is just eating Taco Bell hot sauce packets and just dropping turds everywhere. So with the crew cab, the fenders come way into here. So like the AC box will be covered here and same with some of the wiring over here, because those fenders on the crew cab, you'll see, they'll come in about right there. So all this would be under it. Not for sure how that's gonna work yet. Um, and the hood latches are right here. So might, like we said before, put them on the front. So we can go, instead of having them there, we'll figure it out when the time comes though. But that will be an issue as we can see as of now. The last thing we need to do is take these cab mounts off don't think we're gonna have to worry about this driver front here but get this back one out and get the two passenger side ones out then we should be able to lift this bad boy off of here yeah. we're gonna fire the tractor up and roll this thing outside and we're gonna lift off this body so we just got the frame and the motor Let's see what we're working with here. Frame don't look half bad. Under where the cab was there. Versus back here, it looks a little rough. Thinking it's gonna have to be stretched right here before that hump, so this hump's pushed back. He's just looking at it here, these cab mounts, you're gonna have the back of the cab way too high versus the front, which is gonna show a lot of the frame. There's the front cab mount, follow. Front cab mounts about this level, back one's right there. So we got probably a six inch difference in height. absolutely disgusting i've already power washed right here but look at this like i mean chunks of stuff this is crazy i'm gonna have to hit it a couple more times Got all these rivets cut, but the center bar still doesn't want to come out. We're growing as a channel, so we got extra tools here. We're going to be able to do more stuff in shop. So what we bought here is a metal stretcher, a metal shrinker. We got this planishing hammer. We got an English wheel so we can form some metal. And we got a bead roller. This will allow us to build floor pans within the shop and other metal parts. A homemade metal brake. 
pick this stuff up and this is gonna allow us to expand the channel so make sure if you guys want to follow us make sure to subscribe if you're not give this video a thumbs up comment all the good stuff it helps us grow anyways let's get a stretch in this frame so we can get this crew cab swept line on it Sitting there now, huh? That's how it looks the exact same. Let's Maybe a little, bit. Down a little bit. After the frame was cut, we then made a mark at the very back of the frame. And what we're using this point for is to go back 29 inches so we could push the frame back to that mark. And we knew that it was going to be the 160 inch wheelbase that we were wanting. Now I gotta go 29 inches from where the back of the frame was. I need to go back just a little bit like this. I'd say it's a 30 second this way on the hot brother it's supposed to be. That's how you check to see if it's square, lines up in the line, make sure it's level. Got the tops welded on both sides, just have to get the bottoms now and then get the inside part here. Catch you guys up what has happened since we haven't really been talking. To start, dropped a mark straight under the frame here and then went all the way back and made sure to drop same mark right here put a chalk mark and that is to make sure that everything is square with the frame as we're stretching it and we cross measured everything after we got the wheelbase right which is 29 inches piece to make it 160. fyi when we measured everything for square it was not square to begin with so it's actually better now than what it was before we started and to make sure it is square i learned you gotta go from corner to corner, if you just go this way and you measure, say, 173 inches, 173 on that side, it might not actually be square still. It'll be a trapezoid. And you want to square off of any kind of point that you know is going to be the same. Like this hole or these rivets should be in line. Same as these three holes here should be squared across. Once got the metal cut, 45 did it on the corners, even the frame, and that's so that the weld would penetrate good and make sure that it's going to be strong here in the future. Still got to weld the inside here and also are going to put is what that keeps calling a fish plate, which is basically be a rectangle with triangles on each side. You'll see that later, but that'll add to the structure and talking about boxing in the frame as well. Here. to make sure that it's plenty strong so bought a drive shaft from an extended cab first gen cummins so it had a carrier bearing this one did not originally as was just a one-piece drive shaft so thinking that we can use the front of that drive shaft up until the carrier bearing then we'll only have to get a drive shaft made from the carrier bearing to the rear end this is what's going to be used for the fish plate cut off here cut off here have this little diamond shape kind of thing here something, something like so should be pretty strong i'd say a lot of welding 
There'll be four of those, one on each weld there where the frame was attached. Have that line center with the weld, clamping them on to weld them. You heard him. He said, put a plate there, put a plate there. He's camera shy. So the main goal of this video was to stretch the frame. That is done. Still going to box it in, but we'll do that in the next video. And then we got to really clean this thing up and get it painted. We know it kind of looks rough back here. We'll put some rust killer on it and it'll turn out all right. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And as usual, make sure to subscribe if you're not and give the video a thumbs up. Appreciate it. And until next time, follow us on Facebook.